Lewis Tugun Altieri, born Leland A. Farin, and aka Diamond Jack Altieri, was a Californian who rose into infamy and became a notorious hitman for the Chicago Northside Gang during the early years of Prohibition. Leyland Varian was born on August 2nd, 1886, on a ranch in Hell's Hollow, California. His parents, Mary Lincoln Brown and father Charles W. Varian, who was a rancher and a cowboy. Charles and Mary had six children in total, Albert, Ida, Leyland, Edith, Hazel and Nellie. Mary divorced Charles and married John Lane, with whom she had a daughter, Leland's half-sister, Dorothy Lane. It is not easy to track down information about Varian prior to 1920, but Leland stated that he boxed on the coast and then at Honolulu. It is very possible he was married more than once during this period. It also seemed likely that he boxed in Denver at this time, and that is where he met Mike Rossi. Louis Altieri married Denver socialite Mabel Mamie Hayes in 1920. They lived with his mother and stepfather in Santa Monica, California. Leyland briefly worked as a police officer in Venice, something his gangster friends later teased him about in Chicago. Leyland was back in Denver that year, where he boxed under the name Kid Hayes, using Mamie's last name for his alias. Altieri left for Chicago in 1921 to work as a bodyguard for famous boxer Melvin Reeves, but soon became involved with Irish-American gangster Terry Dugan and his Valley Gang. From that connection, he befriended Jewish mobster Samuel Nails Morton, which led him to join Dean O'Bannon's Northside Gang. Though he still did jobs with Terry Dugan, Dean O'Banion was the famous rival of Al Capone, otherwise known as Scarface, and Johnny the Fox Terrio. Altiero got his name Lewis Tugun, as he was best known for being a Western enthusiast who wore a 10 gallon hat and holstered two Colt 45 revolvers whilst owning a ranch near Colorado. As well as being a top gun man for the Northside Gang, he also formed the Theatrical Janitors Union and used his position as union president to extort money from theatre owners. Louis Altieri used so many aliases throughout his career. Previously mentioned, when he boxed in Denver, he was known as Kid Hayes. As a Chicago gunman with more than 20 kills under his belt, he was the notorious two-gun Louis Altieri. Braiding down Denver streets with his own audio cue in 1926, he was Diamond Jack, Colorado Ranch over, and to his family, he was given by his name Leland V. Varian. Louis Altieri was described by many as a strange mixture of bravado, daring cruelty, and exaggerated ego, standing six feet tall, 200 pounds, dark complexion, black hair, and faultless appearance with a quick jaw. He wasn't afraid to show off his riches. He usually carried a roll of $20,000 to $30,000 on him at all times. One source said that he wore fifteen to 20000 worth of diamonds. He had a diamond-studded gold belt buckle, diamond-encrusted watch and chain, and multiple diamond rings. He wore $50 shirts, a $100 Steston hat, inlay boots, and silver spurs. In Denver, he was announced to the audience when attending prize fights giving him a celebrity alias. All that luxury and fame came with a price, as on July 18th, 1935, Louis Altieri was assassinated in the street outside his apartment. Altieri was shot in the face, neck and arm. Altieri was one of the first gangsters to ever wear a bulletproof vest. Irma, his wife, was literally bathed in blood and tears. The assumption is that he was killed to gain control of the theater's janitor's union. Police arrested Jay Sullivan, an ex-convict, who police thought was involved with the recent murder of another union leader, the president of the movie Operators Union. Altiero felt that someone was out to kill him, but he always thought it was the feds. On July 23rd, 1935, Leland Varen was laid to rest at the Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Glendale, California, where you can still visit his grave today. Thank you for watching this video. If you can, can you please like and subscribe, as I'll be uploading videos like this weekly. Thanks for watching.